My name's Hazard. Matt Hazard. At one time, I was one of the most popular action game characters in the business. I started off like a lot of guys, side-scrolling my way through the 80s, an 8-bit sprite with more firepower than pixels. When the 90s came along, I signed on with Marathon Software to star in their original first-person shooter. Matt Hazard 3D went straight to the top of the charts. It was the first in a string of hits as long as my... Well, let's just say it was long. Really, really long. Marathon signed me to a lifetime gig, and I branched off into every action niche imaginable. Spy thrillers, survival horror games, fantasy adventures, and even a fun series of buddy cop games with a rookie sidekick named Dexter Dare. I guess all that success went to my head. I asked Marathon if I could take the Mad Hazard brand in new directions, and they let me run with it. Let's just say that was a mistake. That debacle sent the company into a tailspin. The place went downhill faster than you can say non-violent water gun based third person shooter. Don't ask. I thought that was the end. Until a new CEO came along and bought the place. Now the company's called Marathon Megasoft, and the new guy insisted that I be the star in their first next-gen shooter. So here I am, back in the game. This time around, I'm a no-nonsense detective who plays by his own rules, ready to embark on a new adventure that will take me to all kinds of exotic locales, starting with a Japanese steakhouse? Nah, what the hell? You gotta start somewhere. We finally got a break in the soon case. Somebody was running a protection racket out of the swankiest Japanese restaurant in Chinatown, and an informant told us that the drop was gonna take place tonight. I have to get in there and get the money back to the shop owners in the neighborhood, and I'm gonna rain hell on whoever gets in my way. Well, well, well. If it ain't the fuzz. The fuzz? Now there's something you don't hear every day. Who might you be? The name's Sonny Tang. That's Sonny as in Sonny. Your ass is gonna get kicked. And Tang as in what? Tang. So, it's pretty obvious you're not the brains of the operation. Who's in charge? You don't come around here flapping your gums and asking questions. You best be on your way before I make me some pig sushi. I'm sorry. <clears throat> Did I miss something in the script? Is this game set in 1972? Keep talking, Hazard. You got about 10 seconds before I go upside your head, kung fu style. Okay. How about we skip that and you just tell me where the money is? I ain't telling you squat. That money belongs to Mr. Chang, fair and square. He got it for community service work, if you get my drift. Look, I'm gonna give you one more chance. Get the hell out of my way and let me settle this with your boss. No way, pig. You want to confab with the boss, man? You gotta get through me first. What? Son of a... For that, wax on, Mother Humper. Thursday. What the? Who the hell are you? Your worst nightmare! Except in the daytime when you are not asleep. Oh yeah? Well, you better... What? Your life will now end. Prepare to begin your death. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't mean to laugh, but whoever's writing your material needs to lay off the 80s action flicks. Your words are puny, like you. You are the past, Matt Hazard. I am the future, and your present ends now! <laughs> Oh.
What the heck is going on here? Matt, can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Where are you? No time to explain right now. Someone is bound to notice I've hacked in and paused the game. You've got a problem, and I'm here to help. Problem? What problem? Your saves have been erased. If that bullet had hit you, you would have been dead. Permanently. What are you talking about? Look, we're out of time. They took your weapons when you walked in here, so you're going to have to use your melee subroutines to fight this guy. I can do a little something to even the odds. Just a damn minute. I want to know what's going on here. No time. Just take this guy out. We'll talk when you're done. That's a hell of a thing. Okay, lady, whoever you are, we need to talk now. I couldn't agree more. Hi, Matt. Still in one piece, I see. <laughs> yeah, thanks. And you are? I can't tell you my name. I think we're safe in this part of the server, but you can never be sure. Just call me QA. Uh, okay, QA. Mind telling me what's going on? I hacked into this game I found running on a secure server, and that's when I noticed you were in trouble. That guy you just KO'd was Sting Sniperscope. He's referenced in the code for every level of the game. But you? You're only in level one. Look, babe, there's gotta be some mistake. I'm the star of this game. No, you're not. The code shows that there was going to be a plot twist that took you out as the player character and put Sniper Scope in your place. And don't call me babe. Well, if I'm still alive and he's dead, game over, right? Unfortunately, no. The game is still running, and I need time to find out what's going on. How do you keep the game running if the main character slash star is dead? That's where you come in. Without weapons and saves? I don't think so. I've already restored the save feature. And as for weapons... Oh yeah, much better. Suits make me look kinda old. But won't somebody notice that I'm not Sniper Scope? If you stick to the objectives, it will be a while before anyone sees the switch. I'll keep an eye on you. I might even be able to hack in a surprise or two from time to time to help you out. Then I guess... It's hazard time. Um... Yeah... I reprogrammed the level starting point to a spot outside the main level so you could get your bearings before the heavy stuff starts. Thanks, babe. I owe you one. Great. You can start by not calling me babe. Now, move your ass. The level's starting. Okay. Uh, right. And, okay, I, honestly, if we could just, like, summarize it... Sorry. Here. Try this. Yeah, that's more like it. What was that, QA? I saw it before in level one. That was a code glitch. Somebody is hacking the game code, changing something in the level. And it's not me. What the high noon is going on here? Son of a... If I didn't know any better, I'd say that was Jebediah Bedlam. He's the leader of that gang of bandits I fought in a fistful of hazard. Somebody on the outside must have uploaded him into the game. Well, why would they bother hacking into Stagecoach Bandit when the place is already crawling with modern enemies? Okay, QA. I made it to the manager's office. What now? Kitty. Kitty Abundanza. Matt Azard. <laughs> what the hell are you doing shooting up my casino? I had no idea it was your place. What are you doing here anyway? Trying to revive my career, which went straight to hell when we split up. You cheated on me, and everyone hated me for breaking up with you. Now get the hell out of here before I stop kicking and start shooting. Kitty, I'm here because something crazy's going on. It's hard to explain, but... Ah, oh, hell. Here we go again. Matt. Somebody just uploaded a massive number of enemies, and they're headed your way. Those look like... <gasps> they're the Russian rebels you fought in Tandarai. See what I mean? QA, can you hack us and exit? It'll take a while. You'll have to stop them. You stay here, Kitty. The hell I will. Matt, I'm opening an 
exit now. About time. Go on, Kitty. I'm right behind you. Matt, wait! You can't leave! You have to finish the level. Okay, fine. But I guess we all know what that means. It's hazard time. You know, that's already getting kind of old. What are you talking about? <sighs> Never mind. Just go. Andrei! Svazvoy! Kolya! Privyet! Stodililyesh! General Neutronov? Yes, Matt Hazard. It is I. Your pathetic attempts to stop my plans for Soviet domination of the world will come to nothing! <laughs> Man, I tell you, this is just nuts. Whoa, this is new. I have once again proven Soviet superiority by managing to smuggle nuclear device into country right under your hoses. Noses. General, this isn't what it seems. You're making a mistake. If you think you can talk me out of this, it is you who is mistaken. You will never be able to kill me and disarm the bomb in time, Hazard. The power of the Soviet Union reigns supreme! Hurry, Matt! You don't have much time! Whew, that was close. Matt, the Russians weren't after you. They were gunning for Kitty. And she's not the only marathon hero that's in trouble. The next level is loading now, and it looks like they're about to ambush Bill Schindler. Bill the Wizard? From Overlords of Wizard World? Nah, he'll be fine. He's what, level 75 by now? He can kick anybody's butt. No, he can only access a few spells outside of his game. He won't survive long without help. Then you have to get me in there, fast. Thanks for the help. I shall flee in this direction and hope for the best. Definitely not my cup of mana. QA, they just hacked in a new enemy. Get this, this time somebody screwed up. It's a commando from Sokum, that kid-friendly shooter I did a while back. The one with water guns? Yeah, the worst these guys are gonna do is get me wet. Target spotted. Liquidating target. Jeez. Matt, you can't take anything for granted. Whoever is doing this wouldn't bother hacking in enemies that can't hurt you. Matt, I just got some of Bill's powers back online. Bill, your powers have been partially restored. You can teleport out of here. That's great, Matt. I appreciate your help. My Ah, oh, hell. Or not. Matt, your weapons won't put a dent in that thing. There's an exit at the far end of the room. Get out of there! Now we're talking. Let's see how you stand up to a really big stick. Here, I will take that.
nice magic missile. Glad to help out. I'll let you take it from here. My All right, Snipey. Are you gonna face me one-on-one -on -one now? Or are we gonna do this the hard way? The hard way is the only way. You are going down, Hazard. Look at me. I am bigger and have more ass badness than ever. Well, I'm betting I can kick your upgraded ass just as easy as I kicked version 1.0. Perhaps you will get your chance. If you can get past my little friends, that is. If you're not afraid of the dark, you should be! Ha 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 ha! No, no, no! This is not possible! He is weak! He is old! He is... Is here. This is not possible! Mr. Wellesley, please, calm down, sir. Your therapist said to avoid stress. Calm down?! My whole world is crumbling around me. Sir, the company is doing just fine. Downey, you idiot! I'm not talking about this. I'm talking about this! Twice I've sent my new next-gen action hero into the game to kill Matt Hazard. And twice, Matt Hazard has kicked his ass! Sir, if I may ask, why is it so important to kill Matt Hazard? I know the former owners signed him to that Lifetime Society for Video Game Actors contract, which means that he can't be fired and he can't quit. The contract can only be broken if he's killed off in a game. Yes, sir, but nothing says you have to use him in a game. You could archive him. Why bother killing him? I grew up playing video games, Downey. My father was the owner of Zapland, one of the biggest arcade chains around back in the day. I got to play all the latest games for free before anyone else even saw them. By the time I was 12, I could beat every video game ever made, except for one series of games. The Matt Hazard games. And do you have any idea how much that pisses me off? I, um, think I have some idea, sir. Yes. And now, not only can't I beat Matt Hazard, but the greatest action game hero ever created keeps losing to him, too. And those enemies from Hazard's old games aren't slowing him down, either. Hazard must be getting help from somewhere inside the company. It's the only explanation. He's probably continuing the game to buy time for his friend to dig into the code. But if he finds out we're on to him, he'll leave and we won't be able to touch him. Well, so far, when Hazard has encountered one of his old game friends, he's gone out of his way to help them. Maybe we can throw some more of his friends into the levels as bait. That's a brilliant plan! Ideas like this are why I'm going to be the best game company CEO in history. Um, yes sir. Um, yes sir. Downey. Tell the programmers to keep throwing Hazard's old game enemies at him. We have to keep him busy while we set the trap. Yes, sir. Now for the bait. Who can I put into the game that Hazard will be sure to go after? And what kind of trap can I set? Oh, Wally. That is good. That is very, very good. Matt Hazard won't even know what hit him.
The head of the company is behind all this? Yes, he's got every programmer digging through the archived source code from your old games looking for enemies. And bait. What do you mean, bait? It looks like Wellesley is putting your friends into the game and hoping you'll do something reckless and impulsive in order to save them. Who's their next target? From what I can find, it's Dexter. You'd think they'd pick someone you actually get along with. Well, that doesn't matter. Dexter and I were partners for years. I won't let him take the fall because some lunatic is trying to kill me. Upload me to his mansion. Okay, but be careful. I'll be fine, but the bad guys better watch out, because it's Hazard. Time? What? That is rude. I put you in the guest house. I figured you'd have a decent chance to get the drop on any enemies from there. Dexter is probably in the main house. We just had another hack, QA. And it looks like they've dipped into the code of my one and only arcade adventure, Death Hazard. Zombies, huh? Remember to aim for the head. They're almost impossible to take out otherwise. Dexter, any minute now a bunch of armed goons and zombies are gonna burst in here and find you... relaxing in bed? Well, well, well. Matt Hazard. Long time no see. Uh, Dexter, buddy, you need to get moving or you're probably gonna die. I think you might have that wrong, Matt, buddy. Dexter, baby, I missed you. Hello, Matt. Glad you could drop by. Kitty? Dexter, sweetie. Howdy, Matt, sugar. I call them my darlings. Dexter's darlings. Has a nice ring to it, don't you think? I designed them myself. They'll do whatever I say. First, they're gonna kill you. Then, they've all got parts in a new game. Starring yours truly. Wellesley's giving you your own game. And all it cost you was selling out your best friend. Best friend? <laughs> best friend? Do you have any idea what it was like playing the clueless sidekick to the great Matt Hazard? Watching you get all the good kills? Watching you get all the fame while all I got was ignored? I want my shot at the big time. And with you around, that will never happen. So, hasta la vista, Hazard. Join me in the den when you're through, ladies. Oh, there you are. I hope Hazard didn't give you too much grief, my darlings. Not half as much as he's gonna give you, schnooky lumps. Smarts. No! You suck! Matt, look out! Do people not know that doesn't feel good? Ha! Later, dumbass! This ends here, Dexter. You know what time it is, buddy. Oh, God. Please don't say it. Seriously? Everybody hates my catchphrase? I always thought it was kind of cool. Of course you did. You're an idiot. Girls? Enough of that crap. Now it's just you and me. And you're just gonna walk out the door? Hey, Matt! What are you doing? I, I didn't mean it. Just, just walk away. It, it's cool. Ah! What, what the? You saved my life? 
After everything I did? Why? Because as far as I'm concerned, when it comes to friends, even ones who have screwed me over, it's never hazard time. Matt, server activity just spiked. It looks like they're uploading more enemies to the level. A lot more. Well, I'm ready to leave as soon as you give me an exit. I'm having trouble hacking in. You'll have to go back to the guest house. I should still be able to get you out from there. Uh, QA? I'm about to have a little more zombie-ons than I can handle. Matt? I can't open an exit. Somebody's trying to shut me out. Well, you better pick up the pace, sweetheart, or everything that comes through that door will be dead, including me. I told you to stop. Hey, QA, I'm sorry. I promise I'll never call you sweetheart again. Why not? I was just starting to like it. Jeez, you scared the hell out of me. Sorry. So, where were we? Um, you were trying to break through the interference so you could get me out of here? Oh, right. Hmm, I think I know just the place to take you. After you, handsome. QA, hey, you there? Where the hell am I? Hit him hard and hit him fast! Count on it! Friend of yours? <laughs> Sounds like he's in trouble. Yeah, that's Master Chef from Crown of Light. He's no match for the Space Marines from Hazards of Hostility. Any suggestions? Hmm. Maybe you should get in there and try to save him. And you might want to keep your head down. Doesn't look safe. What the hell has gotten into her? Master Chef, how you holding up, buddy? I've been better, Matt. One minute I was in space a hundred light years away, the next I'm on a yacht pinned down by space marines. What's going on? Long story. I take it you're not armed. No. All I have is my heat shield generator. And all I got are 21st century weapons. That's not going to do much against their armor. No, but I can use the heat shield generator to create temporary cover points for you. If you're careful, the cover should buy you enough time to inflict the required damage. Good plan. Ready when you are. Well done, Matt. Why don't you go and find a way off this tub? I'll hang back and take care of the stragglers. I suggest you take some new weapons as well. Where there were two Space Marines, there are bound to be more. Thanks for the help, MC. I owe you, buddy. Anytime! Matt? Uh, hey! Um, wow. Nice work. Yeah, no thanks to you. Yes, well, uh, you remember that interference? It must still be interfering. Well, why don't you see if you can clear that interference and get me the hell off this level? Whatever you say, sweetie. Oh, settle down. If you had anything important to do, you wouldn't be playing a game. QA, we need to talk. Now. Don't get your cod piece in a bunch, honey. What's up? What's up is that this level has been one ambush after another. What gives? Hey, nobody's perfect. Anyway, I thought danger was a turn-on for you action hero types. I know it is for me. Matt! I finally broke through the encryption. I thought I would never... What the hell? Don't, Don't listen, listen to her, Matt. Matt. She's, She's an, an imposter. imposter! 
Yeah, I hate to ruin this stereotypical evil twin moment, but I already know that you're the imposter. The bad advice, the cavalier attitude, the whole coming on to me thing. Oh, gross. See what I'm talking about? So, you figured it all out. <laughs> what a smart little action hero you are. QA, can you shut whoever she is down? I'm working on it. Sorry. Too late. <laughs> This can't be good. I only survived fighting that thing in Conflict of the Deities because of my spear and magic helmet. What am I supposed to do here? I'm sure it's vulnerable to guns and explosives. Just target the tentacles and keep moving. You're doing great, Matt. Two more tentacles and that thing is history. Again. Yeah. Turns out that thing is a lot easier to kill with guns than it was with a spear. Well that, as they say, is that. Let me get this straight. That idiot Dexter and his robotic bimbos didn't kill Hazard. Hazard ended up on a yacht, and the yacht blew up, taking one of our most expensive creature models with it, and you don't know if Hazard is dead because the level has been wiped from the server. Um, do, uh, yes, sir, uh, but he must be dead. How could he have survived that? So far, he's survived everything we've thrown at him. Dig through those files. I want proof that he's dead. And if he's not, I want to know where he is. Yes, sir. Um, what about the other operation? Should I put that on hold until we find out about Hazard? No way. I have a feeling Hazard is still out there somewhere. And if he is, we're going to need everything we can get to take him down. Matt, are you all right? Yeah, I, I think so. You're lucky I already had a back door to this place open in case of an emergency. What level is this? It's not a level. It's part of the game server infrastructure. So, why bring me here? Captain Carpenter, the arcade hero from the 80s, runs this place. He said you'd be safe in his warehouse until we figure out a plan of attack. You were saying? What are you doing? Captain Carpenter might be a whiz at killing off rabid crabs and turtles, but he can't handle a gun to save his life. <sighs> I guess there's no talking you out of this. Nope. It's... um... Time for me to go to... the warehouse. Captain Carpenter. Long time no see. Indeed. I wish it were under better circumstances. This place is usually a lot safer than it is today. Are you kidding? Just about everything in this place is dangerous. I guess you've never heard of Fragme Industries. We make the props for all of Marathon Megasoft's games. Crates, mana potions, even those explosive acetylene tanks and fire extinguishers you're so fond of. That's why these characters are taking control of the place. They're seizing everything in the warehouse. I've got to stop them. You should get out of here. Way ahead of you. Lead straight home. Which is where I'm going to stay until this blows over. The missus always said she had a bad feeling about me working here. Too many barrels. Tell Karen I said hello. I will. Later, man. Give him hell! Ow! Damn it! 
it. Who'd they hack in this time? The secret soldiers of the Vafrathin. Ha! Huh. They must be really reaching to dig up those 2D World War II rejects. Don't be so sure. They might look silly in a true 3D environment, but they're still dangerous. If it makes you happy, I promise I'll be extra careful around the paper target bad guys. Oh yeah, Altos Stratus from the penultimate illusion games. I would have thought by number 50 or whatever they would have given you speech instead of text. Oh, right. Target? What do you mean, target? Oh, for God's sake, get to the friggin' point. Okay, well, that was a little more to the point than I would have liked. Listen, my anime friend, you know this is wrong, so what say you just don't do it? An ellipsis? What the hell is that supposed to mean? My God, I have never understood why you guys do that. How much time do players waste in their lifetimes clicking past stupid ellipses? Sigh. Oh, screw this. I'm the man. So, what now? You stopped the last shipment, but they got everything else. And I have no idea where they took it. You could have asked one of these guys if they hadn't cut the interrogation minigame. Hey, look at this. This log sheet shows the destination of the last shipment that left here. Wasaf Docks. That's the map for the final level of the Sting Sniper Scope game. I have to get there. Now. Matt, you realize they're going to use the stuff they stole against you, right? Yeah, but it's the final level. Theoretically, if I beat this one, the game ends. Yes. Theoretically. If Wellesley lets you go, watch your ass, Matt. Well, I appreciate your concern about me. And my ass. But I'm gonna make it through this. This had better be good news. The next time somebody gives me bad news, I'm going to use their nuts as pinballs in my arcade. Um, <clears throat> well, uh, we did confirm that Matt Hazard was the one who stormed the warehouse. No, really? You think? And I suppose he got away? Yes, sir, he did. But most of the shipments did leave the warehouse as planned. Unfortunately, Hazard got to Altos Tratus before he could be deployed. Anything else you need to tell me, Downey? Like maybe that you've lost Hazard again? Oh, no, sir. The programmers say he's being uploaded to the final level of the game right now. Now that's more like it. We need to throw everything we've got into the docks level. Tell the programmers to buy me some time! Third time's the charm. <laughs> Didn't I already kill you? Twice? Yeah, baby. But that was the old sting. This is the new and improved sting. I thought the last sting was the new and improved sting. Well, yeah. But now I am newer. 
and improved. Uh, I mean, just look at me. Look at his abs. Look at his pecs. Look at his armor. Look at this mother humping gun! Hey man, can I just shoot you now, or are you gonna be dragging this out? I think we should drag it out. It's kind of my thing. So, ready to give up? Give up? No way! You might have got past- No, I got this. I might have gotten past your men, but now it's just you and me, and I'm about to experience the sting of death or something. Is that about it? Well, yeah, pretty much. Great. Well, now that the formalities are out of the way, I think it's high time for game over. Now everyone can see what a studly hero I am. Finish him! He... So, the game's over and I made it through alive. You think Wellesley will abide by the rules and let me go? He'd be in major legal trouble if he didn't. Well then, what say you and I go someplace nice and celebrate? I know this nice Japanese steakhouse. That's a little shot up, but... Matt, any woman would be thrilled to be with you. But trust me, it would never work out between us. But, come to think of it, there's one thing I would like to do, right now. Really? What's that? Roll the end credits. <laughs> no, 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 no! Stop rolling those damned credits! Smile while you can, Matt Hazard. Because I'm not finished with you. Not by a long shot. <laughs> huh? All of you AI idiots, get into position. Hazard is on his way. And you guys need to hold him off so he doesn't get up to the executive floor until I'm ready for him. This is not good. Get ready. I think he's in that one. That's the one, I'm sure of it. Weapons ready. Sir, we've thrown everything we've got at Hazard. Our AI is no match for him. Screw our AI. Starting now, I want every person in this company logged into the game. It's time they stepped up and put their own avatars on the line. <clears throat> Everyone, sir? Yes! Every programmer, artist, tester, hell, even the marketing and sales guys. You too, Downey. Uh, sir, <laughs> I don't actually play the games. <laughs> I mean, I'm a producer. Don't make me get the scissors, Downey. You don't have to worry about that guy. He's not finished. They've been working on him forever. QA! Ah, oh, God, I was starting to think you were history. You can't get rid of me that easily. I'm glad I found you. I wanted to warn you about... ...them. Oh, for the love of... Hey, guys, I forgot how to pick up stuff. Guys? Looks like a Crown of Light space trooper. Doesn't seem to be much in the AI department. He's definitely not intelligent, but he's not artificial either. He's an avatar. Wellesley has everyone in the company gunning for you. Okay, guys, now I can't aim. Down is up, and up is down. Downey and the other execs are the least of your worries, but there are clans of programmers, artists, and testers who will definitely give you a run for your money. And they're players. They can do almost anything you can. Understood. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some employees to fire.
Say goodbye, loser. Goodbye, loser. Nice kick. The bitch deserved it. Sneaking up on somebody and shooting them when they're not looking is so dishonorable. And yet, so effective. Come on, Matt. You're not that fast. And honestly, I'd hate to have to de-res you before I can make my big pre-boss battle speech. Wally Wellesley, I presume. In the virtual flesh. You're in my game now, Hazard. And this time, I'm going to win. Is killing my friends part of your game? Give me a break. How many frags have you racked up today? Hundreds? Thousands? Your little friend with the glasses was my first. And, as it turns out, I'm willing to stop it too. This rifle is my own personal invention. A couple of shots, and poof, you're derezzed. Based on your friend's reaction, I'm guessing it's kind of painful. But I'll tell you what. Apologize for all the grief you've caused me over the years, and I'll make it quick. Mr. Wellesley, I'm sorry. But I intend to take my good sweet time killing you. Now, finally, it's no more hazard time! <laughs> <laughs> Dexter, I owe you one, buddy. No, Matt. After what I almost did, I'd say I'm still in your debt. Uh, uh, uh. Should I take him out? No. You and the darlings make sure the building's clear. I'm about to get the beat the snot out of Wellesley with my bare hands achievement. It's hazard time. Yeah! <laughs> 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 I don't need a gun to kill your sorry ass. Oh, crap. Not good. Not good. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. Oh, come on. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. As the CEO of this company, I demand a rematch. Shut up, Wellesley. <laughs> Game over. You did it, Matt! Yeah. I just wish that QA could have been here to enjoy it. Who says I'm not? I'm outside the program, remember? That was just my avatar that got derezzed. Hang on. We're setting up a link so we can talk face to face. There. Wow. I thought your avatar was a knockout. But now that I see you in person, I gotta say that you are a... Hey, QA! Dick. Guy? Does this mean you don't want to take me to that Japanese steakhouse anymore? No, it's just... No. Dudes are cool, but I'm not... <laughs> I'm just messing with you. The real name's Quentin A. Myers. I'm one of the senior programmers at Marathon Megasoft. I was the lead programmer on some of your early games. Well, I'm surprised Wellesley didn't can you when he took over. Yes, that is odd. I'd ask him about it, but the SVGA goon squad just hauled him away. So now that Wellesley's out, I guess the company's history. Actually, no. When I heard Wellesley was going to purchase the company, I bought 49% of the outstanding stock, with an option to take majority ownership should Wellesley be forced to step down. Well, that sounds great for you. How does that help us? Now that I'm in charge, I get to make any game that I want. And I think that it's high time we brought back the classics. Congratulations, Matt. You're back in the game. And that means... It's hazard time. Ha 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 ha.